Okay, I want to make a video here to help those Christians that are being deceived and uh, moved into uh, mocking the Lord Jesus Christ without knowing it uh, because of something that the atheists and the Vatican and Islam have been promoting for literally over a thousand years. And what, I, what I'm talking about here is the flat earth theology. If you go to the Bible truth section of my website and you scroll down to where it says false doctrine and then go down to where it says, is the earth flat? I have a page here where at present I've got 21 specific points that prove that the earth is not flat. Uh, and many of these have numerous links throughout them. Uh, so it goes a lot deeper than just 21 points, but uh, just for the sake of making it easy to build the page and to section it out as a good outline, I you know, have it at 21. And it's going to be going further from there, I'm sure. If, if you're being moved into this false theology and you got some questions, just come to this page. Uh, the link will be in the, uh, uh, in the comment section below. But there's all sorts of scripture, scientific evidence, and if you're SDA, there's spirit of prophecy evidence that says you are being lied to. But something happened during the eclipse of last week. And that's what moved me to make this video. It's something I added to this page uh, just the other day, right here. All right, and so if you go to this video, well, let's just go there. I want to show you something. You go to this video. Right. Let me stop it. If you go to 329, right there, and I'll, I'll turn it on in a second. These guys not only calculated the exact place to be in the USA, which wasn't that hard to do because they were using some apps, but they do have a website called Smarter Every Day, and so they, they do mess around with mathematics and stuff like that. It's pretty interesting uh, to watch some of their videos. But I particularly like what they did here, because not only did they map the perfect place to be in Wyoming to be able to photograph the eclipse, they got it down to the split second when the International Space Station flies across the view of the eclipse on the bottom of the sun here. And the reason this is so important is because besides the other 21 points that are on this page uh, in regards to everything that proves the flat earth theology is a lie, one of their main ones is that they claim there are no satellites and there's nothing in orbit. But when you watch this, you can't help but to wonder why are they telling these lies? And, uh, but the thing here is like when, when Sputnik went over when I was a child, these flat earth theists were saying that, oh, that's just a balloon, a weather balloon. But if you notice the speed of the space station when it flies across here, because they also have to slow down the video to show you, but you can still see it even though it's going by fast. You'll know this is no way a weather balloon. Plus you see something on camera here that is probably going to upset a lot of flat earth people because you can literally see the solar panels and the pods of the space station. Check it out. Two, one, transit. Oh, it happened, I saw it. Okay, let's stop it here. Now, he's pretty excited, obviously. And here's where they slow it down and zoom in a little bit. Okay, you see that? You see the solar panels, you see the ponds, you see it all. And that's not a sunspot. As a matter of fact, they're coming up on a sunspot right now. So this should easily put to rest in the minds of many real Christians as to what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, as well as many other areas in science and the spirit of prophecy and whatnot, and just common sense. I mean, there's, certain, there, there's actually a common sense section on this, uh, this page here. I don't know if I have it linked. Uh, yeah, right here, number 11. Con common sense questions never answered by flat earth theorists. There's a reason they're doing this. And like I said in the beginning, they're doing their best to make Christians look idiotic. And they're at the same time making scripture look like it's a bold-faced lie, like it's all just crazy. But here's the clincher. It's 2017, and you can literally buy airtime from the U.S. government or any other nation, I would imagine. But I know you can do it in the U.S. government. And what I mean by airtime, I'm not talking about TV or radio. I'm talking about atmospheric airtime, where you can literally get a time, a date, and a place to shoot off a rocket because they want you to get with them first so that you don't hit like an airliner or one of their satellites. Why haven't these flat earth 
theorists ever done that. 100% of every statement made by someone who believes in a flat earth is hypotheses. None of it has any scientific foundation whatsoever. None of it. They can't prove any of it. Yet we have dozens and dozens of points as to prove that it is round, as well as eyewitness reports. You know, on this page, I go into detail in regards to that as well. But again, I'm not going to go over every single solitary point because that's just a waste of time. But if you truly want the truth, well, yeah, then you'll go to this page, you'll see the truth, and you'll walk away from this stuff. But here's the thing. Let's challenge these flat earth guys. Since you can buy the airtime, and you could buy the airtime for decades now, you could ever since the, they invented the rockets with cameras in them, you can literally buy the airtime to shoot up a rocket. So why don't you guys do that? Shoot up that rocket, put a camera in it, Take all the photos you want when you're up there in orbit or as high as you can get. Don't put on a fisheye lens. Make sure it's flat and then bring the thing back down and post all your pictures and videos on the internet to prove the earth is flat, but you won't do it. I guarantee it. You won't do it for the same reason. We've never heard of anybody falling off the edge of the earth, nor have we ever heard of anyone seeing the edge of the earth, let alone taking a photograph of the edge of the earth. You won't find a flat earth theorist, even if he's a multimillionaire, send up a rocket with a camera because he knows being an atheist or a cratheist, which is a Christian that doesn't believe scripture, he knows it's all based on a lie. Thank you for watching. God bless.